telling her what she want to hear. Next thing you know, my dick and stick is in her mouth. Raw, bro. Let me you don't wear you don't wear a fucking bulletproof vest. Being scared of the fucking wind. You wear bulletproof vest against guns. You're only with her for her titties, and you love her. Facts. YouTube, what do you do? It's your boy Steph, man. We're about to dive into a cold video topic, man. But before we do, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram at Steph is Cold. We are doing a reaction video to Andrew Tate, Aiden, and of course X XQC on uh girlfriend having guy best friends, man. And um I can really, really, really touch on this topic very heavy. So without further ado, we're gonna dive into this video topic, man. Let's get it. Super hard. I agree with it's that. Like really case by case. It depends. It depends. It just depends. On See, it always depends of, of the nature of that of that relationship in, in, uh, in the first place. I think I think they they can be friend if things are clear from the get go, and you just kind of know, right? But you have to be very very rational about it, though. Do you He's think right. that in ninety nine percent of scenarios, when man's friends with a chick, he'd like to sleep with her if he could? Okay, so, yeah. See, see, uh, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be the all or most against. Uh, it's gonna be like the all against most take or all against whatever fucking take. You know, we're gonna go down again like last time. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's say, let's say, uh, fucking, I can use a close example, okay? Uh, this, uh, this girl does projects for, for Twitch events or fucking stream events. Uh, his name is Cutie, okay? Just an example, okay? I started a bunch of events. Uh, we work on projects together, I guess, right? I never fuck her. Yeah, that's right? acquaintance. That's Not, work. That, we're talking about friendship. Well, I mean, she's still a friend, though. If she's an acquaintance. She's someone you work with, someone you know. I wouldn't call him a friend. So, okay, it's not mutually exclusive. It's, 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 well, like, yeah, it's hard to draw the line. But my point is that I, I don't think that when a woman and a man are purely just friends without, let's say, a financial Yo, motive, other debate motive, topics, purely have. just friends, I don't think that's a platonic relationship. I think the man is interested in her most of the time. And when people disagree with me that, I say, then why do all the hot girls have so many friends and all the ugly girls don't have any? The men are trying to get laid. And for her to sit there and entertain it and pretend that that's not the case. Oh, no, he's just my friend. She knows what's going on. It's bullshit. X, I have and a question. Some... Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Someone well, asked. Because you, know I mean? you can reverse X, that. X, what? somebody had asked uh, X, if uh, would, would you be okay if uh, your girlfriend was best friends with Andrew Tate? Well, I, I don't want any of my friends being friends with Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate is a fucking moron. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 no, no. Um, we uh, could, you know. Uh, you're a, friend. you're a famous Twitcher, bro. We could we could do a really we could get a lot of pay per views on a boxing match anytime. Bro, 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 bro. Have you seen these sticks I got? I, these are literally fucking. These are sticks. I can't I can't <laughs> fight with that. Bro, I did I did one tap. I don't I don't I'm still not scared of saying that. It's like I, I don't know. It's like something it's something not, it's not comparable. It's like if I said best biggest fucking UFC fighter, Colossus, fucking seven foot Andy. I mean, he's gonna clap you too. It's all a matter of scale. Of course. Well, this uh, this is my point. The point is that I don't think that most male female friendships are truly and utterly completely platonic i think if any woman's honest she'll admit that too and for the same reason i discussed earlier while i wouldn't let someone attempt to break into my lambo i would not let some man come along under the shield under the guise of friend i'm not gonna let some dude come along put on a friend hat and try on with my chick permanently that's bullshit and she shouldn't want that either she should say this guy obviously wants more i'm not talking to him or i'll talk to him only at work for x event that's it and, and 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 I know these views for some reason. I don't know why these views are extreme because these are really not. They, these are not. The rest of them are kind of extreme. They are. They are legitimately. That one is not too extreme because um yeah, a lot of people have these intentions that are that are preemptive. And when they see somebody that's like attractive or whatever, yeah, they'll be friends and trying to try to snake their way. Man, let me tell y'all niggas something, bro. And, and and make sure you be listen to what I'm about to say, bro. Nigga. Everything is premeditated, nigga. Everything is premeditated. What does that mean? That means that before something happens, bro, a month to think about what they're going to do before they do it. You feel what I'm saying? So, like, we could talk about, I could talk about this best friend stuff all day, but I'm going to tell you this right now, G, that best friend shit dead, bro. That best friend shit dead, bro. It's dead, bro, because I'm going to tell you this. She, she his best friend for a reason. See, not friend, best friend. That's even deeper. That's even more, more emotional connections. No cap. Ain't no whatever. But would I your, was, would what? your mother hang around with some dude behind your father's back and say he's her friend? Would your mother say that again? Would your mother hang around with some dude behind your father's back and say he's just my friend? Would your, would your father tolerate that? Uh, they're not together, they're divorced. Okay. 
but I'm talking about a different generation, right? Let's imagine people who married 40, 50 years ago. Would See, XQC answers like a female. He answers very emotionally. He does what the woman does. He dodges the question, oh, they're divorced. Like, no, nigga, that's not what he asking, bro. He's asking the scenario. And we already know the answer to the question. The answer to the question is, of course not. Of course not. Let's just keep it a buck. Of course not, bro. They, was it normal? Was it normal then for dudes, for chicks to be hanging around with a bunch of dudes and saying he's just my friend only 34 years ago? Or is this all new thing? A friend, it depends what kind of activities you do. I mean, dude. Nah, it, bro, he's it, right. It, 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 you can have friends honest. doing a bunch, a bunch of shit. Like, they can go fucking. Maybe they like playing golf together. Maybe they like. It's new think, my friend. And what you must understand is that the things I'm talking about are, were perfectly normal and completely and utterly accepted. Oh, you're one of well, these guys. Okay, it's okay. Not these guys. It's about accepting that society has changed and that new think is untested. And when you look at untested think, because that's what it is, it's untested by the definition of being new in and of itself, it's untested. Yo, Chad, how long is he going to get a massage for, paradigm. bro? We had relationships for a very, very long time, thousands of years, where when a woman was with a man, she only spoke to that man. In most of the world today, still that is the case. You may live in America, but if you go to Africa or any of the Middle East or Asia or even Europe, Eastern Europe, Russia, any gotcha. of these places, if you think these chicks are, have male friends, then you don't understand the world very well. Take it a piss. America, one sec. Keep going. Okay, Keep going. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reverse and say, in the age of a Mesopotamia or some shit, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, girls had, had, had friends and shit and then stuff with other guys. Yeah, th things change. It doesn't devalidate them as untested. A lot of things were untested previously, like, uh, how does that prove anything? Like, what is that new equals bad thing? Like, well, I don't know what that is. New, new doesn't equal bad. New equals untested, which means you don't know. Nobody knows how this new societal paradigm is going to play out. I can only talk from my personal experience. And my personal experience is that when a woman has a bunch of male friends and a boyfriend, the relationship doesn't last very long. That's my personal experience. I, I've seen it happen a thousand times. Yeah. And those are facts. Those are facts. The number one red flag when you meeting a woman is when she got hella male friends, bro. I see this shit. No, I told y'all, bro. When you see a woman, when you see a woman always in a different passenger seat, bro. When you see a woman always hanging around dudes, bro. Bro, it's because <laughs> she's one of those kind of girls. Like, you know how XQC said, uh, oh, so you're one of those guys. Shit, but put me in that pool too then, bro. Because we're definitely one of those guys. It's like a point guard, man. You can know. As soon as you see a chick, you already know what time it is. You already know what kind of chick she is. Oh, and in the club every weekend. Okay. Just write that note down. Like, damn. Okay. Snapchat. Oh, po posting with a different dude. Different patch. See? Oh, write that down. <laughs> oh, she got a relationship, but she got male best friend. Oh, write that down. She call She got this dude calling her brother. Write that down. I told y'all. No, I was, I was with a chick before. I was with a chick before when I met her and her and her best friend was posting pictures together on Instagram. Making it seem like it was nothing. I, in my beta days, I wanted to meet the nigga. The nigga said he didn't want to meet me. Hey, I know he got that pussy. I know he got that pussy. I know he got no sweet watery guts. Facts. Yeah, I mean... If, that, if, if you date some girl who's unfulfilled of you so much that she's willing to give other guys a chance and keep an open mind about who they're going to date and who they're with, that they're going to do that with, with people that they meet randomly. But if, she's, but if she's fulfilled, she wouldn't have male friends. You're pretending that a girl can be fulfilled. That's not true. That's not true. What, yes, if, what if, what if Bro, she already you're... had a friend before before you? Like oh, understood. years, years ago. Understood. I, I've been with women and they've had a friend for a very long time. But I make it very clear to him, look, he clearly likes you. And if she's honest, she's like, yeah, I know. I keep my arm's length. And she's very honest. No and, Hold on. And, that's, and, and that's what Andrew Tate is saying. Like, bro, that, that's how you know how blue pill and beta these niggas is. These guys are. Baby girl, you know he... See, if women... See, this... See... Part of the reason why the blue pill exists is because of society and women. Mainly women. Women lie every single fucking day. Women lie every single day about the dumbest stuff, fellas. About the dumbest stuff. About the craziest stuff. About the wildest stuff. Just to protect who they really are. 
So you think if a woman is on the internet showing her cleavage, you think she don't know what she doing? You think when a woman look at herself in the mirror, wear some nice clothes to the gym, you think she don't know what she doing? Going during peak hours too, you think she don't know what she doing, bro? So when a dude is the friend, I have been in the friend position. I have been in the beta male friend zone position before. A lot of chicks, it's chicks, man, I can count on my hand. Plenty of chicks I wanted to talk to. They know I was, man, she, baby girl, shit, when me and you, come on, man. All of us been in that situation. We said, man, dude, when me and you gonna get it in? When it's gonna be time for me and you? Boy, I don't even look at you like that. That's how them chicks, boy, I don't even look at you like that. I don't even look at you like that. I'll never forget what a chick told me. A chick told me, bro, uh, Steph is, is, is marriage. He husband material. This is my beta blue pill day. Super beta. Super blue pill. Steph is um St Steph is husband material. Nigga, I was in the friend zone. Nigga, they know who they can friend zone and who they can't. You think these women are stupid? Open with me about it. Oh, he just texts me trying to get me to go out. I'm not gonna reply to him. And she'll she'll distance herself on purpose and she'll make it very, very clear that she's in love with me. And she'll keep him where he belongs. Very, 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 very firmly in the friend zone with no hope. Because that's oh. her job to do. I don't have to tell her to do that. Now, if I have to come along to a chick and say, you're giving this guy too much, trouble. stop texting him. Blah, blah, blah. If I have to do that, then she doesn't respect me and I'm not going to be in that relationship. I'm not. Facts. When you overly emotional and got to do all that, you ain't got, these women aren't stupid. That's what Andrew Tate is saying. These women are not dumb. They're not stupid. They understand. They know what to do and what not to do. So I'm not going to, especially no grown now. I'm not going to raise my voice, baby girl. You already know what it is. I'm not gonna sit there and police her phone. She'll yeah, self hey. herself. She'll self police out of respect for me. If she's not doing, <laughs> yeah, if she's not self policing, guy, then she really doesn't respect me very much. And I need to understand the chessboard. I need to look at the board and say, okay, I'm not very well respected in this relationship. She thinks talking to these dudes is more important than keeping me happy. It's only a matter of time until we break up. Okay, we okay, okay. I I, I agree with this, but the, the problem is that you're lumping in. You're lumping two things that are, that are very 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 different. Okay, relationship needs and social needs. That what they're not. They're, they're separate uh, experiences. You, you saying and fearing the, the social overall aspect of, of, of your girlfriend, saying that, that, that she's mixing that with, 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 the, with your personal relationship love, right, is a problem itself. That is, that is a problem that, that you cannot, that you can't see. That's aggressive. Social needs, that is good to talk to other beings hear new ideas, have different intellectual conversations with other beings than you. Bro, you, 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 you can't entertain all of her fucking uh, intellectual, whatever the fuck. Bro, they, they have to go out there and, 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 and talk and have fun conversations where they aren't having sex and having a love with somebody else. Like what? I'd appreciate if you'd stop using the word fear because I'm not fearful. So you can stop using that word, firstly. Secondly. Well, I can't, it's hard because when you don't want something to do something, it's it's out of fear. That, that's how it is. You think? Yeah, by default it is, but you are fearful of something happening, yes. It's not about being fearful. It's just about having my boundaries as an individual and, and having- Boundaries of what? Boundaries that, what will happen? Boundaries of what? What is the thing that you're shielding? You said boundary from what? Boundary was... and shield from what? From something. Let me... Bro, Let me you don't wear you don't wear a fucking bulletproof vest being scared of the fucking wind. You wear bulletproof vest against guns and <laughs> ah, I love XQC. I love the emotion, bro. I love the passion, dog. I love that shit. <laughs> Bullets, bitch. Sorry, let me, I, I, let, I, think, I think the bitch back. I cannot pull that no, no I, I don't mind. That's fine. I'll, I'll answer your first original question about them being social. <laughs> women often if they're with a man and they love that man their social circle ends up involving or being built around that man his friends become their friends the girlfriends of the other other guys that he's friends with becomes their friends i'm not saying they're not going to have any friends and nobody outside of me but anybody who is completely and utterly unrelated to me is to a degree an enemy combatant you you need to understand my friend that life as a man is ultra competitive and it is war we are all competing with each other if everybody's you, at war Okay. The, the whole thing is war. Girls are at war. Guys, everybody is at fucking war. Yes, life is a battlefield, and sometimes you gotta make choices and shit like that, and that's how you climb, motherfucker. You have to okay. you have to take some down. It is what it is. It's a war, yeah. All right. But I would I would argue that women to a degree, call me misogynist, 
are a spoil of war. If you're a man and you've been to war and you've been through enough shit, you get women along with money, along with status, along with respect. Women are a spoil of war. They always have been. Look at the ancient times. They turn up, take the city, take the women. It's women are a spoil of war. So all men are competing with each other for all the things men want. All of you Twitchers are competing with each other for views. I'm competing with people to make as much money as possible. If you're going to go try and get a chick, you're not the only person trying to get her. You are competing with people who are trying to get her too. And my point is this. If I win said war and a female becomes mine, I'm not going to let an enemy combatant put on a friend hat and use that as a shield and a bullshit excuse to sit there and attempt to silently chip away at my relationship. Every single time she's unhappy with me or we have an argument and he's in her fucking phone saying, well, you could do better than him. Da -da. Anyone who thinks that that makes you secure to allow your chick to just be poisoned okay. is about security that so, is just responsibility she is yours she loves you she adores you her social circle should include you and revolve around you anyone who comes along and has nothing to do with me but still wants something to do with my chick is unacceptable okay period period in a fucking discussion ain't ain't nothing i don't even know why this shit 57 we still gonna react <laughs> we still gonna period that's the end of discussion because every man deserves his own pussy. Every man deserves his own pussy. Come on now, bro. Facts, bro. Come on now, gang. Okay. Okay. This is, I understand. It's a, it's a spoils of war because you did something, right? Like, I want to fire back at you and say that where you, you're in a relationship, it has to be because you are something. Not because you did something and you got me. Because you are something. That's how you reach fulfillment of relationship. You're with somebody who's with you because of you and you're then because of they are they are them. What happens when you are since you're using the battle war thing, right? You're fucking you're you're Achilles, the great fighter with a sword, right? And you smoke this big ass giant and you get the spoil you get you get you get in your words, you get the bitch. Now she comes to your tent and she gets to ride on the fucking stick. Yeah, 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 yeah. The spoils of war, right? Yeah, bro, yeah. Right, right, right. And then you have you build this relationship on the fact that you're such a successful fighter. Then the next day, something comes along, you go in the stairs and you fucking break your leg. Then it's all over, right? It's all over. Bro. You go back to your tent, it's crickets. She's fucking gone. Because you can't fucking jump and sword that guy anymore. You can't do the leap that what? Achilles did it because you can't fight anymore. Therefore, it's gone, right? So what's the point? That, so you're saying that, that, that that's how it works. So, because she's not with you for you. She's with you because of some achievement, some some tangible event that you did, some some hype that you got. And she, you shouldn't be worthy or you should be fulfilled of anything else but that one event. Well, I have two answers for that. Firstly, you said she shouldn't be with you for something. She should be with you because you are something. Well, how do you become something? You well, become that's, something. That's what you, you become. Wait. Become something by doing things. So you're trying to separate the two as if they're separate. They're not se separate. Separate. They're, they're not. You is a lot of things. Your, your achievements is a small thing. No, Being no, successful no, isn't. No, hold on, not in the realm of a man. In the realm of a man, oh. your achievements are 85% of all of who you are. As a man, you are judged solely on your status. You don't even have to be good looking. You need to be important. And you're only going to be important by achieving important things. As a man, you are only an you're only judged on your importance and your status. And also another point I want to make, you made it sound like if I lose that next battle, she's going to run away. Well, no, not completely. But I'll counter that by not saying completely. No, no, but I'll, I will because, answer. I mean, now she just attacks you because you're a failure. She's attacks you on whatever you do because now you're not as good as you were before. So she's losing that part of success that you had. She said, now, now not, she should tax you too much. Yeah, you, she should say, Andrew, give me 10 bucks a day, bro. So you have to, you, you have to go like a wagey to the market and sell peaches, right? Because you don't fulfill her now anymore. She lost something, bro. Get taxed, pussy. Do you think that women don't leave their man or initiate divorce when that man loses his job or can no longer financially provide? You think arguments don't Bitch happen? Bitch-ass, unstable ones do from people who can't sell their women properly. When you do not, when she does not respect you, she will leave you. And respect is a multifaceted, it's a large and complex issue. But if you cannot provide as a man, if you are not competent, she will lose respect for you and eventually she will leave. For you to sit here to say that you can lose endless battles and your girl will stay with you anyway All right, is Chad, dream world topic. fallacy. I'm not even talking. Give me a new topic. Fallacy. warrior. I go through the it's back downs and, forth. and the ups. And I would assume. Man, listen, it's this, con it's this song by Dave East and G Herbo, man. It's a line Dave East said. Dave East said, money get low. Watch how quick those bitches neglect you. So, 
again, XQC doesn't understand his value, bro. This dude is one of the most, one of the coldest streamers, one of the coldest guys I've seen play um, third person and first person shooting games. Bro, just off that, bro, just off your Twitch status, your YouTube status, just off the shit you've accomplished, bro, you're going to have women throw themselves at you, bro. And if you look good, if you're handsome, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, shit, that's a double-edged sword. It's like you winning times two. No cap. Boom, the person that, that, that is with me knows I can lose a thousand battles. At the end, I will win the war some fucking hell. They know that because I built character and I built who I am as a person. And that per that person who's with, with me knows this and doesn't need some some event or some win at least one battle out of 10 so for me to stay secure. They don't need that because they know who I am. They of don't course. need little, little, little battles. They know the war is won because she's with the fucking winner. That's, okay. what's the, that's okay. how it works. All right. Well, if she's going to see you as a winner, even though you've lost a battle, which is fantastic, and that's how a woman should view her man, then she's only going to see you as a winner because she's seen you win a bunch of battles before. Any woman who's only ever seen you lose is not going to stand there and say he's a winner, is she? Um, no. Yeah, that, no. Yeah, I guess oh. that's a fair point. Yeah. No, my point is, my point is this. As a man, you are judged by females and by society at large on your competence. And your competence, by extension, means your ability to win in all scenarios. The more competent you are as a man, the higher status you are as a man. We don't just have to talk about money, right? My woman can come to me and say, there's a man outside with a knife. And I will go and deal with said situation. She can come to me and say, I need a million dollars. I can deal with said situation. She can come to me and say, I don't know the answer to this. I can deal with it. She can come to me and say, I need a second passport. I have to disappear. I need a second name. I can deal with it. I am competent in all realms. The more competent I am, <laughs> the more she respects me. By extension, the more responsibility and authority I have over her and the less likely she has wanted to go to a club and shake her ass around. If I can't fix all of her problems, I have less authority. That's normal. I don't think if I was a beautiful woman, I wouldn't be with a man who's not top fucking level. Why would I be? Because I have innate value. So to sit here and say that women don't give a fuck if you win or lose and that uh, all of that is not true because it's too competitive. It's too competitive. There are too many men out here who want the hot chicks. A hot woman can have anyone she wants. She ain't going to choose the dude. Okay. Who fuck is. With, with this definition, then you, you, are, you are admitting that any girl that dates you, right? Any girl that dates you is only with you uh, until, she, until she sees some guy who's, who's more successful and has won more battles than you. Therefore, you shouldn't you shouldn't be with anybody, right? Because of who you are, right? No. Every no. every girl is always looking up at something better. The grass is always greener. There's there's you're just some pawn then, right? No. Because the, no. as soon as you go to the yacht and some guy pulls up randomly that looks has like oh, has more money no, 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 or has no. more followers or more whatever, <laughs> nah. she's gone. Because that guy no. has more battles. So, yes, that's, that's what you said. I was in your argument. Uh -huh. The guy has won more battles and is more stable. Why shouldn't she go to that guy? After, after I'm saying done, that man after threat. All she's gonna have an emotional attachment to you because you're gonna have an established relationship. Hold on, Jack. Hold on, Jack. You're scared she's gonna leave then. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of anything. You are. Yeah, that that is what. I, I have something you don't. <laughs> I have something I that nobody else has. Nobody. Not even cool. you, him, the president. I'm cool. myself. That's well, all that, I fucking need. Cool. Well, then I I I would put it this way. I would expect any man listening to this stream to see me as a threat because if you don't see me as a threat then you are literally stupid if you see your girl talking to me i expect you to be like fuck he ticks too many boxes he's too competent and he's too good at certain things i don't need him near my woman now she ain't gonna run away straight away no but if i keep talking to her and you and her have a little bit of an argument she's gonna end up doing something that she might she might even regret it but she's gonna end up doing it that is the nature of humanity. Now, to sit here and say that I, because I'm me, I'm so secure, I'm not threatened by nobody. That's the facts. That Those are the facts, bro. Those are the facts. How many of us been in a side man position before? I've been in numerous side, side nigga positions before where, you know what I'm saying? Oh, my man, his digging stick can't get hard. And, he tripping, he insecure because of my booty and what well, I never forget, dog. He insecure because of my booty and what I'm wearing. Oh, he don't want me showing my butt and he know me, I'm wrong. It's all I'm telling her what she wanna hear. I'm telling her what she wanna hear. Next thing you know, my dick and stick is in her mouth. Raw Dick and stick is in her mouth. 
All because of me talking to her. Her steady coming to me. You know, having because I'm gonna tell y'all something. They say it go down in the DM, but it actually goes down in real life interaction. First, it start with the eye contact. See, I've been knowing the chick since high school. I've been trying to get at the chick since high school. Right? My junior year, I was trying to get at her. She went senior year come on, she went. Like, like a year after my senior year, hit me up randomly. We talking, we chit chat, going back and forth. Oh, he, oh, you so fine. Always, always thought she was cute. Always liked the Jew. Going back and forth, back and forth. Next thing you know, dig and stick in her mouth. More of the story is, bro, when a chick is extra comfy, extra, when your chick is nice, extra nice to other men, bro, it's a red flag, bro. Red flag, G. Buddy, da, 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 da. That's not true. That's not, that's not an intelligent way to approach things. I'm a world champion fighter, right? If I see a man in my garden late at night, he may not be able to fight like me. I still don't want him near my house. Who the fuck are you, right? That's still a threat. It's still somebody who wants what I have. So it's not even, it's not even as black and white as you're trying to make it. The point, another point you're trying to make, I think, I don't, I think but, you're trying but, to. But, okay, but he's not even competing. It, you, you already won. It's, it's, it's not, there's no competition. One. You no, won the, yourself. You've shown that. So why do they need anything else? The competition. Go on. Well, well, I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's not. It's not. It's not competition. I mean, why? Why would you? There's no competition. You have what nobody else has. How is that? How is that? How is it anybody competing with that? Well, we're all different, right? There's there. I I have things that nobody else has in some realms, but you guys have things I don't have, right? If there's a chick who's a, who's in love with Twitch, you're all more important than me. That's fine. But it's not about that. It's 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 not even about that. The point I'm trying to make is. I think you were trying to say earlier that a girl's only with me because I have certain things, because I have X, Y, Z, et cetera. Well, and well, I, that's, that's not her fault. It's your fault because that's how you set it up to be. I agree. I you agree. are creating I, your own demons by, that, by, that, by the division. It's not a demon. I agree that women are only with me. Shallow females are only with me because I'm big, tall, strong, rich, interesting, compendious, because I have char 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 charisma, because I can fix their problems, because I have a good, a well-connected network, because I'm important and respected and high status. I agree women are only with me for all those things. That does not mean that their love is not true. You think that a woman who's only with a guy because he's big, tall, strong, handsome, and rich doesn't love that man? <laughs> You're only with her for her titties and you love her? <laughs> so what the fuck? You Facts! You talk about you're trying to pretend they're separate. They're the same fucking thing. <laughs> bro, bro, listen, you're talking to the big titty guy. I fucking love titties, okay? There's nothing, I, I, I don't give a fuck if people say I'm a child of that. I fucking love titties. And I don't even agree with that, okay? I love titties more than anybody else. And, and just uh, titties, it's just not, not good enough. What it's the just not. fuck? That was, I, was, I, was making, I was making a point humorously, so I'll make the point now professionally. If you're only with a woman because she is loyal, kind, soft, adoring, and beautiful, and she makes you feel happy, are you shallow? Oh, I said it again. That was, that, that was a lot. She's loyal. She's adoring. She's funny. She's gorgeous. She makes you feel happy. She, your friends love her. She lives in your house. She cooks. She cleans. You feel good when you're around her. Are you shallow to be with that woman? No. Why would I be shallow? Oh, so if a woman's only with you or me or anyone else because she looks up to you and sees you as strong, rich, competent, interesting, you can protect her. She will likes to be guided by you. She likes talking to you. Is she shallow to be with you because you're purely high status? Um, no. So no, the, well, the point I'm making is that, okay, okay, like, you're, okay yeah, I agree with you. No, that's just one of the reasons she loves me. Okay, okay, okay. It's, it's all about proportions, okay? Think about, think about it. Like I said earlier, the poly, the motherfucking polygon. Okay, Jack, if it's a polygon, it's I'm like, like really a, it's like tired, a, it kind of, it fills on, on certain sides because certain strengths. Okay, what I'm saying is that you can, you can have a little bit of everything, right? A little, a little bit of everything. But if the reason why she's there is mostly the things that are fucking uh, a tangible, right? Like, like money or whatever. If most of it is that it's the money and the status or whatever, that's a fucking problem. Sure, you you, want, you want to be a nice no, balance. Like, I'm zoning out. I'm too tired. Of everything. I'm in, so bro. it feels fulfilling in all ways and good and and feels good. It's Agreed. a good thing. All the, so so if it, if, if it goes with you because of three percent uh whatever three percent intellect five percent whatever and then forty percent money and thirty percent looks. What, what happens? What happens if um your investment all fall flat and you get old and, and, and then you're, then, then you. XQC, you made a really great point right there. I agree with XQC right there.
I agree with him on the, on this point in particular. I definitely agree with him. That woman out the window. Okay. Okay? Because Agreed. most reason why she likes you, most reason is these tangible dog shit, and then boom, Agreed. it's gone. Agreed. I and never then said. What? And then what? And then what? What do you do then? Then you're gonna find another bitch. What did, I never said that wasn't the case. <laughs> uh, what do you want me to say? I never said that wasn't the case at all. I'm saying that women are attracted to tangible things. It's a tangible world. I said this earlier. Now, it, I, I've never been with a woman who only loves me for money. I'm not a sugar daddy. I'm not like that as a person. I have a lot of money, but my women who are with me, they don't get like presents and cars, none of that shit. Like they can live in the house and I'll take them out for dinner, but they, they could get with a man with less money than me and get a lot more money out of said man. So I understand the point you're making. Yeah, if a hooker's with a dude purely for money and he runs and out of money, yeah, cool. And how do, you know, how do you know that? I know that because of how my relationship's set up. Because they're with me for money, they, they choose someone else because they don't get any money. Well, I mean, they're not, they're not, they're not to work, they're not to do shit. They, they live for free. So how do you know they're not with you only because they can live for free and, and a good life and a very fancy life? How do you know that for certain? How do you, how do you build that framework, right, where, where they, they display they're with you for all these other intangible things all the, from you that isn't only life stability and, and status? Good question. Good question. So what we need to do is we need to get this Twitch stream. We I'm need to get every, every single stay-at-home mother, every single stay-at-home wife in the entire country, and we need to ask them how we know they really love their husband. They're not just with them, so they don't need to have a job. Let's do that, shall we? That's that's that doesn't even make I sense. I didn't ask these fucking degenerates or me. I asked you. Also, 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 is that lady building you a new fucking back and rearrange your fucking bones? Why is it being misogyny for a full hour straight, bro? What is she doing out there, man? Bro, what the fuck? It's gonna be some sort of fucking. <laughs> I fucking love it. I fucking love it, dog. It's lit, dog. It's lit, dog. All still badly replacing some shit. I have a lot of muscle. It's it's painful to carry around. It's a two hour massage. Can she get but, like? Um, can she get like a little break or like some water? Of course, she gets water. She works hard. She's here every day. She loves me. She's fine. She's my best friend. Okay, she's good. well looked at. What's uh, her watch name? Him. Watch out! Watch out! Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey, sorry, lady. I better watch this guy's girlfriend. She's about to get jealous because he has a best friend that isn't her. Holy shit. Why <laughs> not the fuck out? Hey, yeah. hey, hey. hey somebody wanna, tell her. I want to say one more thing that will really trigger you, but this is true. All the rules I've been saying and all the things I've saying that apply to women don't apply to me. I can go to the club when I want. I can have as many female friends. So I can do whatever I want. So let's just make that. <laughs> okay. I can do I can do as much as I want. Because I'm the boss. You're the boss. So I can do the fuck I want. Top G. Right? So, okay. Yeah, top G, my chick can't come to me and say, who's this chick? Like, Some bitch. Why are you talking to her? Because I fucking want to. I'm well, allowed. I mean, I, I mean, in, in a way, a when, when, you, when, you have, when you have these two things, right? These, these grant, In that polygon, when you have a crazy Chad, amount of money. Dick eating, I mean, Chad, my dick eating, Chad. I mean, you, you, you can uh, <laughs> do whatever the fuck. You can do crazy, <laughs> outlandish shit and well, still have security. I, I, it's true, but I don't, I don't like people thinking that women are only with me for money because it's actually the absolute opposite. I only first ever made serious money because I had so many women when I was broke. So let's keep that in mind, firstly. So I had women when I had no money. So and why? I'm, because you were good looking or other things? What was it? I was a because, world you, because, you, because you had good hair? What happened when you went bald? You think maybe some women was only because of you because of your hair? But now you're bald. What happened then? I'm not bald. I shaved my head. I could grow all my hair back if I decided. Bro, but we can it, see the hairline. It's like a whole McDonald's uh, symbol. It's here. But... um. It's because I was a world champion fighter, I'd assume, and because I'm interesting and smart, <laughs> I guess. I'm that was funny, XQ. I'm big. I had <laughs> lots of reasons. I had lots of things about me that women like, clearly, because they listen to me and they help me make up millions and millions of dollars. So it's not, just about, it's not just about money. Yo. How, do you, how are you hiding Los Poyos' video? Like, like, how do you do that? You right-click. He fell asleep. What do you click? He fell asleep. So yeah, but what do you, yeah, but, yeah, but what do you click? <laughs> you right-click, you just show my camera or disable video really good yeah. shit thank you brother oh i never knew that continue guys so yeah this is a very interesting conversation i would like to if i had the time which i know we could do a really interesting study we could you get a new girlfriend i get a new girlfriend i give mine my <laughs> set of rules and you give your set of rules and we see who lasts longer <laughs> yeah. who, la wait, who lasts like bro life is more like the way we can't just fucking full reset and get like brainwashed like cl clean sleep. you can't this is the problem with life. How do you? Okay, this is one I've had problems with life. How do you know you have the tools and you have what it what you have what it takes to make it if you can't full reset? Oh shit! How? I wasn't it's, it's hard. It's it's hard. You, you Yo, don't, this shit you is don't ever know for bro. sure, right? I wish I can we do a poll in the chat. Is it possible to do a poll? Yeah, yeah, just, you can do a poll. Yeah. yeah. Okay, just ask and say if your girl goes to the club with men all the or no sorry let me i got that wrong hey, pull, I, 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 do it again I, I, you, you have to give me the specifics yo mods, any mods up if your girl can go, go to the club whenever she likes with her girls 
are is she more likely or are you more likely to break up than if she doesn't go club? That's the question. So just so let's put, see what people think. Just put break Maybe up. I'm wrong. Just put it's fine. Put break I have up no or problems not break being up. wrong. Like I don't give a there fuck. Goes, I don't, goes clubbing without with you. Her, with your girl, girls. Without you, very often, are you more likely to break up? Boom. Just put yes or no. Even actually, we should hold up, Andrew. You're looking at my shit, so I'll just I got you. So wait, you want me to put yes or no, or break up or not break up? Yes or no is fine. I just did break up, not break up, and it's so. No, one, one minute, pull. One minute, pull in the chat. I might do it. X, mine's ninety five percent breakup. Mine's or then yeah, so but yeah, yeah, but you you, 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 you you stream to a bunch of fucking preteen fucking coomerandies up in his bitch. Just and like, you just stream like to a bunch of skateboarding fucking. Oh, What's I the can't. Question? Exactly. What's the question? I am as biased as you. It's we are not rooted. Question. We are not rooted in rationality. What These guys the spam W when this guy shows up on screen. Holy because they, shit! What is the question? question? What is the if question? your girl goes out clubbing with her girls without you. Are you more likely to break up with her than not? My okay. my my personal answer is no, one hundred percent no. Okay, because if she goes to the club, it has nothing to do with my 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 uh, relationship stability, and isn't getting something she isn't getting from me by going out there, right? <laughs> and she's fulfilling other needs uh, socially that she enjoys. That makes me even less likely. Yo, to break up. Look at you are more likely to be broken up with, them, right? Yo. If you allow her to do less things that she enjoys doing. This is like 50 And a story. I want my girl to feel pretty. And if she's bald like and 80, hot and fucking sexy, I want, her, I, want her, I want her to be able to feel, like, feel that. I want her to be able to do, do, do that. What the fuck she wants? She's not going to fucking sit at home in her pajamas. Oh, fuck. She, just like you like to have your fucking top off so we can see your titties and your trash. Freak, I'm going to add you after. She likes sometimes <laughs> looking nice and having some cleavage so she feels sexy when she looks at her in the mirror. Has nothing to do with what she's getting out of others. It's how she the sees herself. Oh, I'm sexy. I want to feel the that way. I want to say, "Hold on, I'm so fucking sexy." I think Appreciate she's like you, hot brother. shit. Yeah, I, yeah, I love it when your girl comes to the club with her tits out. I love it. <laughs> oh yeah, because you can look like a fucking like a uh, window shopper, like when you're, you're broke, right? That's right. Oh, and then really? she comes back home and sucks my balls, and not probably not yours, and nobody right. else is in the world. That's right. Uh, That's security. Thank you. That's right. You're right. Security. Yeah. No, you're totally right, man. Everyone's window shopping. No one's touching her. Just they, you, they, they are window shopping. They absolutely, absolutely are. Yeah. Ninja, so like ninja. I said, you are scared. People are not window shopping when your girl goes out. Uh, yeah. So I only, you're right. All my girls are ugly, clearly. And I'm, I'm very fearful. No, that's not what I said. I didn't say ugly or looks. I said, I, I, what I said is, what I said is, what you're saying is that you intend that if you were going out, people will not be window shopping. They wouldn't be touching. They, they would oh. not know. Look, I, I, I hang around with many beautiful women. They get a lot of attention, and we go out with me, and, and they get shitloads of attention. Of course, it's normal. But that's, cr- that, that's good. That's a good thing. I'm getting tired. Of course. That doesn't mean that they're but, touching, though. But they're with me. I wouldn't send them to the club by themselves. And, and you know what's actually... I know this is very unusual to like... So talk you to have them. to be close when something, when something that you don't like happens. happens. I know this is maybe unusual to an American audience, right? But I live in Romania. So in Romania... If you go to a club and she's not with a man, she's single. The, the idea that a woman has a boyfriend and goes to the club without her boyfriend is literally, it doesn't exist. So you either, you see women with their men and you see women standing on their own and everyone knows. Bro, Andrew Tate, that's everywhere, bro. I'm just going to be real with you, G. I know you talk speaking for Romania, bro. Let me tell you something, bro. That's for Milwaukee. That's for Austin, Texas. That's for Houston, Texas. That's for uh, Los Angeles. That's for Denver, Colorado. Bro, the truth of the matter is this, G. If you got a girl, bro, and I I got a home. It's funny we talking about. I got a home guy in mind, bro. They got a girl. They got kids. And she's at the club every week with her single friends. Every week. Do you think she's at the club to just be there and have fun and have a couple drinks they can they can do that at the house right can't you and your home girls go to the house and have a couple drinks can't me and my homeboys me and my niggas go somewhere and have a couple drinks at our crib or go somewhere else go to one of our homie spots he got a big ass spot why are we going out to the club to do it because we want other people to see us 
I like how it feel when a guy, I'm speaking as the woman, I like how it feel as a as, when a guy's giving me attention. I like how it feel when I'm with me and my homegirls and I'm and I'm and I'm cute, but I got a nigga at home and all these niggas is hitting on me. It boosts my self-esteem, it make me feel better. I like how I feel that, you know what I'm saying, my single friends is getting all this dick thrown at them, but I'm not getting it neither. So I need to go out with them and compete with them. Man, women compete with each other too. They just don't compete with men. Those they're the single ones. It's impossible for a girl to have a boyfriend and still go out. That That's just the, the societal norm. Same in Russia, same in most of Eastern Europe, same in all of Asia, same in the Middle East, same in Africa, same in most that, of the world. That, that's cultural shit, you know, comparing the, the, the East, the West, Middle Eastern. Cultures. We're comparing cultures now. We're comparing the culture of the Western United States to other countries. The Western United States is a country with the highest divorce rate, the most suicidal males, girls are sleeping with the most men, the most porn stars, the most fucking OF, the cam, and all this other trash. You're going to try and defend the society, which is the most degenerate on the fucking planet? There's nothing fucking respectable about- Well, well I live in here. I, I, I don't have any other choice. I, I like living here. I live here. That's about it. End of story. I'm not going to fucking- My ideas are not unusual most places on the planet. They may be unusual to an American audience in a degrading society full of disgusting- okay. With but this the, mindset, you, you the girl of your dreams is actually not even alive right now. She's probably is stuck in the fucking cave ages with the fucking uh, with, with, with the, the mindset that they had back then of the animals mm -hmm. and fighting. So by definition, your 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 soulmate or best fit is in the fucking minus two millions or some shit. There is no such thing as a soulmate because as a man, you mold your woman. I take any woman and, and she becomes my soulmate by obeying my rules. And if she doesn't obey, we break up. So that woman, the women are malleable. My point is I could take an American woman and she would comb she would abide by my rules because that's who I am. It's not about that. My point is you're defending. Why, why would I have to obey? And that, dude, dude, I feel like the, the way you're saying that obey, then in that, in that sense, the way we use the word obey, she can do, you can make her do any tricks. What's a fucking ever. She can make, you can make her do anything. If she has to obey. What the fuck is that, well, man? It's, it's comply. Like if they don't want to comply with my rules and my, my, my views on how a relationship should run, then they should leave. That's normal, right? Um, a woman gets with me. I think it wants to be this way. She doesn't want it to be that way. Then we break up. What's the problem? But if she stays, it's yeah, that, that was that was both ways though, with girl and woman and and men, right? Correct. A woman can come to me and say, "I expect you to do X, Y, Z, Andrew." And if I do those things, we stay together. And if we don't, we break up completely. But my point is that my rules are that I can do whatever I want in certain regards, and she can't. Those are my rules because I have responsibility. Okay, it, it makes sense. So, so, so mm. you are inherently superior, right? Therefore, you command you you command the boat. I'm, I, as an analogy, I just always felt like relationship, it's more like a, like a plane, you have a co-pilot, right? You have a co-pilot, <coughs> but you think it's the opposite. You have a ship and you're the fucking captain and they are the, the whatever mother sucker down on the board and you do this and you do that and you obey the captain. I'm the captain mother sucker, right? And you, as Andrew, no girl is above you. Not a single breathing woman on earth is above you and commands you or could command you because you're above somehow. I, I right. could argue that, but to, just for the sake of keeping things simple, I'll, I'll, that's 85% correct. Yeah, correct. 85% 85. 85 how? Because that you're saying like no woman's it. above you, that you're trying to use it as a misogynistic term, but it's not about that. It's about the fact that in a relationship, someone has to be in charge. XQC is gaslighting. He trying to gaslight tape, bro. It, it ain't working. It's not working, bro. And I think the most healthy relationships are relationships with the man in charge, and there are certain domains in which <laughs> I'm always going to excel. Jesus. And because of that, let me give you another example. And then we're going to change subject, hopefully. Last example. Yes, sure. please. You're, you're walking down the street with your chick. I come up to you. Or, or forget me. Ten UFC guys come up to you. Your chance of winning is 0%. Zero. But they, <laughs> okay, but they want, they want to physically harm your female. It is your masculine duty and your imperative to at least attempt to protect her. Do you agree? What? Bro, this isn't World of Warcraft. You don't fucking... You don't <laughs> AOE the mobs down, bro. Like... This isn't some fucking primitive, you're against a lion type shit, bro. It's an unwinnable fight. Nobody would take that fight. By the okay. likeness, I would hope my well, girl knows. Try. We cannot win this fight. We must both run. And we both run. No, okay, yeah. But let's let's say okay, they're about like to drag the answer, woman into actually. a bush and have their way with her. Unless you Yo! at least attempt to protect her. Do you <laughs> feel like you have a masculine duty, even Yo! in the face of unwinnable odds, to at least Yo! attempt to protect her? Yes or no? Bro, th these... what it, you made fun of me for my scenarios. What is this scenario of some obscure fucking like <laughs> hentai shit, man? What okay, the I'll fuck am I talking? What are we talking about here, man? 
Fine, I'll change it then. If you want to pretend that that's not a very reasonable question, even though it is, I'll change Ten it. Ten dudes are <laughs> dragging the woman, the woman. Well, uh, 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 yeah, in, in a bush, and you have to fight 1v9. Bro, you wouldn't even win that if you were fucking Naruto, man. That's like, fair. I'm not talking about winning. I'm talking about your imperative. <laughs> I'm not talking about winning. I'm talking about, do you have a duty? Do you have a masculine duty to at least- Where does that duty come from? That okay. both both okay. partners have to help each other in some in, 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 you, you, you don't... Both partners. Okay, so you need your chick to fight for you. I get it. Next question. Yo. Let's say you're alone in your house. You and your wait, chick. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey, hold up. Hey, hold up. Hold up. Hey, let's, let's, let's roll it back a little bit. So you say you, you say that, that, that the girl can't fight for you, right? Because it's not her role. Whenever she made her character, she didn't choose fucking defender or melee. She chose fucking female. So they can't fucking fight. What the fuck is that? So what, if, 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 you get, if you get jumped by three dudes, right? And you're getting absolutely boned, okay? And she has a gun. Right? She cannot shoot because the woman do not fight. The woman cannot fight. She can't fight for you, right? But because you're so you're such a lion, bro. Right? Not, bro, bro, come on. You can only three them, right? That's not the point. If my female had a gun, I'd tell him to shoot every fucker. That's not what I'm saying. So well, uh, but now she fought for you. That's that, that's that's not male, bro. That's that's not that's not fucking warrior mode. She, uh, you let the fucking female fight for you. Come on, Andrew, you're better than that. <laughs> let me change the question because you want to pretend my question is is not very reasonable, even though it is. Because we're talking about masculine duty and authority and responsibilities. We're not. It's a hypothetical. So let me change it. You and your woman are asleep in bed upstairs. You hear someone break into the house downstairs. Who goes downstairs? Thank Nobody. Tripping. <laughs> <laughs> XQ, you tripping? Hold on, hold. On. SQC, bruh. Are you soft? XQ, so you're not going down there? <clears throat> Nobody's going down there. So what if they come you, upstairs? Bro, you gotta you gotta protect. Bro, I'll up, keep bro. it a buck fifty. Protect, real, quick. No, protect. real quick, real quick. I'll keep it a buck fifty. No, no, no. no. My job is to survive, not protect. My job is to survive. And sometimes that means the guy, the guy go down there, the guy's a gun. It what doesn't matter. That's what not the very fuck I do. We are, of you, bro. We are both going down by no. doing the by doing the smart thing, the analytical thing, the strategic thing. We can both survive. If but I go down, not only am I jeopardizing myself, I am jeopardizing both of us by not being smart and a leader in that regard. We are even more in danger if I go I'm down not, than if I not, not go down. You're, hi you're hiding though. You're hiding. So. Like you gotta try to protect your girl. What? Why is no. that crazy, bro? Bro, you are losing your. You live in America, right? No, you're you're losing your mind. Okay, my my job if is someone not breaks to into my protect. House, I'm go, I'm I'm my job them. is I'm to survive. Yeah, but by so in the in the in the scenario we're describing, you're upstairs. You hear someone break in. Your girl turns to you and goes, "Someone's cutting the house. Someone's in the house." One of you has to go downstairs. Why? Why, why, why does it go downstairs? Why, why, why does it go there? Is why, it your... why, why do you have to go down there? Why? If you don't believe you have any kind of intrinsic masculine duty to at least attempt to protect your female, then that explains why we disagree on every single point. Yes. Because... Not... Point blank period. That explains everything. That explains everything. That explains why he thinks the way he does. Because in reality... He's the bitch. I'm gonna give you forward further than that. Yeah. I even have a, 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 a even higher duty to not protect her, to not even protect myself. I, I have a duty Woman. to fucking survive. Surviving in that scenario means if somebody you. breaks into the house, he's okay. Listen, Andrew, if somebody breaks into the house, he is more likely than not likely to have a certain tool to get in or a weapon. I'm if shooting. I do not possess that weapon. Right? I am not going down there with bare hands. There you can because have we will both have a, die. You can have a weapon. I'm not saying you don't have a weapon. I'm saying. Uh, another, the, uh, another all, and then you break it down. Another fucking argument like that, bro. You need to stop doing that. You, I, must, I, must, I, must, I was so assuming you had a bat. I you was trying to bring it a bat down. What the fuck? I don't know. I think you I need to, to stop this. doing that shit what? again. Of Start with a blanket argument and then I've breaking it down. You got to stop doing that. Listen, 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 okay? Let me hop in real quick, okay? <laughs> what both of you are saying is the same thing, just different tactics, okay? The question needs to be asked in a more clear way, okay? What we're talking about here is instinct. Instinct. What is, as a man, your instinct? So whether you go down or whether you stay up and hide, instinctually, immediately you get protective over the woman, right? And she may instinctually get protected over you. Now, what you do doesn't matter. The point is you both 
get instant instinct to survive and to protect, right? That's what we're talking about here, okay? The tactic is irrelevant. What we're talking about here is instinct. Do you understand? The, the most likely game, game. You you look at the at the playing field, right? You look at what do you have and what is the most likely to happen, and you choose the most favorable outcome for both parties to live. Whether that's running, whether that's hiding, whether that's like going to the ceiling, it's anything that we will do to stay on it, just like the animals do. If they cannot fight with weapons they don't have or tools they don't have, they run. It's called fight or flight. It's hey, whatever is the best best tool me, or, or to me, survive. You're, 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 you're making very simple questions complicated. Let me change the question. Again, Three, twice. You're upstairs. No, it's not. I'm not. I'm changing the question because your answers are stupid. So I'm doing it's a, a it's a, Bro. Your answer is stupid, bro, because everyone knows that you have a duty to protect your woman, and you're pretending you don't. I and, don't and agree. I don't not even a little bit wrong. Well, then may, perhaps you are a coward, but let me give you the last chance. It, but I, in a I, way, I, 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 I survived. No, no, hold on, guys, 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 listen, listen, listen. This, this is crazy to me because it's both going over your – both of your comments are going over each other's heads, okay? Listen, your tactic – listen, both of you have the same instinct as a male, okay? Your tactics are different. Do you understand? You, you, you're both – are agreeing with each other you're just arguing no they not bro stop trying to stop trying to like make it cool bro you're you the guy that's oh you both have this no they don't nigga it's obvious that sqc is the bitch it's obvious that if somebody breaking the house he don't even own the weapon that's worth the best case scenario if somebody breaking my house my pistol is literally right next to me right next to me i'm gonna grab the pistol Put the magazine in, cock that mother back, look through the cameras, and go downstairs. It's that simple. Doing whose tactic is better, which is irrelevant to the argument. Both of you, both no, of you no. have the instinct to protect your woman, and the woman has the instinct to protect the man. Your tactics are just different. Yours is to go downstairs and to manhandle the dude. XQC's is more tactical in the sense what she wants to. But the hide. guy has a gun. The guy's a gun. I know nope. it's not wrong. It's not bad. What you're saying is fine. Then what? Both the of you agree. Then what? The instinct is to survive and protect. No one said the guy has a gun, and we're not. Both and of what? you are right. So now the, the, the guy, the guy doesn't have a gun. Point I'm trying to make. Is that when if if somebody in this hypothetical, if somebody has to deal with the threat and engage, if someone did, between you and your female partner, who would be the person who decides to deal with the threat? You or the girl? Uh, I think it's irrelevant. Yeah, it's irrelevant. Wh wh whoever whoever can have the best outcome of fixing that with with it can be even both at the same time. Maybe a cooperation. I'm irrelevant. Who? What, 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 what if? What if? What if? I have a gun. I go to the back and I make her. And I, okay, I'll, I'll go open the door and I blast them. Now, now we both. Good. So you win. Good. Fine. That answers the question. I'm not. Okay, I'm not. Okay. I'm just okay, trying okay. to. Add, I, trying to make. I, I actually, well, actually, reverse. Actually, I'm pretty bad at shooting. Let's say I open the door. Then she shot. Uh, am I still the man? I'm trying to make you guys understand. Well, no, no, no. That I'm trying to make you understand. Am I still good now that I open the door and then she shot, or is that not good enough? That's fine, but that's not the scenario I described. The then, scenario I'm describing are the fact that when it push comes to shove and we end up in unfortunate situations, a man has a duty to protect his female. That's intrinsic. That's evolutionary. That's something we were hardwired with. It's something that society has always built into men until recent times. What you're saying now may be fine. If 30 years ago a dude said, I won't go downstairs and I'll tell my woman and we're just both going to hide here together, he would have been mocked forever. That's like, that's, that's insanity. Somebody has to engage and it's the man's job. Just like the men stay on the Titanic, the men go to fight. That's a man's imperative. And I don't care. It doesn't matter that I can fight. If I'm outnumbered 10 to 1 and they have machetes and I'm going to lose, fine. No one's going to rape my chick without me trying. That is my masculine imperative and my duty as a man. The point I'm trying to make is, so let me change the scenario. You're upstairs. You have an AR-15. Three unarmed men break in. Between you and the chick, one of you has to take the gun and go down there and deal with all three of them. She's scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. They're downstairs. Go, go shoot them. Go shoot them. Are you going to go? Or why is she scared? And you, you're not, why only can, he, can she be uh, can she be scared? If she, if she has tra better, better training than I do, if she's better shooter than I, than I am, she's taking a gun, bro. I'm not. I'm, if I, if she, what? You're in my brain. What? I'm I know, am I talking Chinese? If, I, if, I, bro, I, if she has been a shooter, she's taking gonna, a gun. You're going to send your girl downstairs. 
I don't know, bro. If she's a better shooter, you're damn right she's going there. Of course. But how do you know she's a better shooter if you guys have never, like, let's say she never shot a gun before and you never if shot you, a gun if, you, if you have an F-15, you need to have the training that comes with it. Yes, you do have training. If you're lying, yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably had the training before, before it. Yes. Okay, hey, well then, so what we've learned from me asking this question is that you, and this is not, this is not an insult, I, I think you'd agree with me saying this, you have no intrinsic desire, no intrinsic duty or intrinsic innate responsibility to protect your female in any regard. Oh my you God, guys, guys, you guys, don't, I'm going to interrupt. Can, can I please interrupt real quick? I'm going to interject, okay? Once again, you both agree, okay? You're arguing to, to just to argue because you're not hearing each other, okay? Listen, XQC, what Tate is saying about instinct for males is correct. Our instinct to protect will kick in 100%. Now, the next following step, okay, is, the, is the, what... The technique. Is, what no, is, what is does technique, that mean? Right, yes. technique. Yes. XQC is being rational about it. So if you were to, to word it correctly to fit your narrative, Tate, what we would do here is, as a man, XQC would take leadership of the situation and say, okay, I know you are a better shooter than I am. You practice 600 hours a week. I do not. Here is the gun. You are better than me. That takes confidence. Your outlook, Los Poyos, so you, is insecure. If she has more gun huh. training, if she, if she has more you gun training and you, she's confident, you so, make the leadership decision. That's your instinct. Make leadership decision. No, but train, how do you know she has more? What the hell are you talking but train, about? How do you she's know, your girl. How do you know she has more gun training? She's going downstairs to I confront would, armed gun, it, gunmen. Man, like, listen, what are you talking about? How am I insecure because I want to protect my girl? That is bro, irrelevant. No, you're not going to say I'm insecure because I would protect my girl. Bro, bro, This is crazy. What Tate is saying crazy is okay. Imagine, what he's Trent, saying is okay. What extra saying is okay. They're both right. They're both right. Trent, Trent, Tate okay. is saying, Just imagine listen, it's fine, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's, it's, it's like hanging out with a bunch of <laughs> testosterone filled men with small dicks. See, that's, listen, that's, that's what listen, I'm listen, <laughs> what Tate is saying is correct. <laughs> Whose instinct kicks in as a, oh, what's the instinct of a man? To protect your girl, yes. protect your kid, protect your family. Yes, Tate is right. That is there. But what the technique to follow is, it's is the man sir. taking leadership to say, okay, I will shoot and I will miss. But my girl, if she is willing, if she is strong, she's going to step up and she has more hours than me. And she will hit this guy one shot. Do you understand? If you need me to word it to, to massage your ego, Los Poyos, and say, okay, I took leadership <laughs> and I demanded this and she's my frontline soldier, I can you know, word it that way for your Do you know why? Ego. Listen, listen. Do you know why I would do it like this? Because there is a chance, no matter what, going up against someone with a gun that you could die. I don't Rationally, want her to die. if you go I'll with no training, you're dead. You I'll go with no training, he has a gun, you're dead. She, you run uh, that's it, fellas. I can't do no more. We reacted to this one. It was a good one, man. And without further ado, I'm gone. Get my, get my face.